averaging about nine per game. Darley, meanwhile, averaging 19 per game for UNBC. Darley with a oh. fadeaway jumper along the baseline. Third in the conference in assists per game. Lyles with a pull-up jumper, and that one floats through. Here's Lyles now, who leads the way with four. Joe Sherburn creating on his own, and that's a nice take by Sherburn. Uh, Sherburn in. New Hampshire, one and two, neck and neck. Uh, threes per game, turnover here, and Lyles tries to get it back and does for UMBC. Good recovery, good recovery defensively by Jarris that time to get the steal back. Jarris in the lane, finishes, counted, and a foul. Of course, now the defense has to step back. UMBC getting much more playing time since coming off the injury. Lamar for three, and that's a huge weapon. Well, we know Arkell creates the space for the shot. Eisler in double figures now with 11. Sherburn with a high archer, and that's the answer for UMBC. That one against the Citadel. Elliott for three, it's huge! Randy Elliott, his 100th career three. Sudden, a oh, nice pass. Nice give and go, and Garrity slams it down from lead his check back in. Baseline for Schweitz, reverse is good, and Sam Schweitz will go to the line. Good catch. Open look for Lyles. Jarrett, his second career 20 point game. Lamar for three! Markel Lamar with it. Lamar, another three-pointer! Well, he got a better look. Oh no, Lamar! Lamar! Ten to shoot. Grant for three. Two-point lead! You had early. You definitely want a foul. And let's see if they get the steal. And they do. They say awful. Here we go. No shot clock here. UMBC will drive. Score! Jarris Lyles. We're tied. in a minute 30. Well, Darley held his own. Lamar breaks it. The Retrievers lead. Sends it back out to Lyles. He'll drive the baseline and score! Well, we talked about wearing New Hampshire down, and that would help. Lyles for three. Rebound UMBC. They got to get it out of here quickly again. Elliott for three. Timeout. Especially Will Darley, if you can get him the basketball, anywhere inside the midcourt UMBC logo is in within his range. Retrievers go with Sherburn as the inbounder. There's Darley. And you gotta realize too, there's 2.3 seconds is a lot of time. Sherburn for Darley from three. He's got a look. He's got about this because we did it in the open the difference in will darley year over year well, his confidence i mean you know his confidence is just off the charts this year look at that turn and shoots and we're going double overtime darley with 12. That's the 10th three-pointer for UMBC today. Look at Freeman! Freeman! Oh. Says I go. Here's Rodney Elliott to the hole. And we're tied at 94. And again, that matchup with Dion. Sit out. Cross court, stolen away by, Ly by Lyles. Lyles on the break. Lyles one on one. Lyles leans in, swipes the rebound, keeps it alive. Rodney for three. Pops it in. We're tied at 99. So. Too strong. Rebound UMBC. It's going to be Rodney Elliott at the free throw line with 6.6 .6 left to play. A lot of time left. You can hear the crowd. Season high for Rodney. It's a two-point game. Gotta recognize, we'll see if Smith pulls the trigger here from three. He does. It's short. 
in the corner. The Retrievers have.